Hey guys, I'm back. So uh, I'm going to be explaining real quick um, something interesting about black holes that I bet you didn't know probably. So a black hole, as we all know, has a immense gravitational field. The common myth is that they suck things in. They don't. They actually have an immense gravitational field. So if you put a black hole with the same mass as our sun, now keep in mind the black hole with the same mass not going to be the same size. Same mass, it would actually exert the same gravitational pull. The reason black holes seem to suck things in with their immense gravitational pull is that they're actually so dense that a black hole that's the size of our sun has much, much more gravity and thus things get sucked in. But just like any object with gravity, things can actually orbit a black hole. And so our Earth could orbit a black hole if the Earth were the right distance with the right momentum, just as the Earth could orbit the sun. There are, in fact, places where uh, orbits are stable around a black hole. One of these places is actually called the photon sphere. Now this is a really wacky place where light itself actually orbits the black hole because light has enough energy that it'll just go around this black hole forever. And the gravity, the light gets pulled into the black hole just as much as the mo momentum carries it away from the black hole. And you actually get rings and rings of light going round and round this black hole, which is really, really wonky. Now you're thinking, why can light get pulled by a black hole. It has no mass. It's not affected by gravity. Well, actually it is, because gravity has an effect on space-time. And if you bend space-time, you bend light. So let me illustrate with a marble. Okay, so to, ir to illustrate my point, we have some basic space-time here. And we have a little bit of marble. So you see that when space-time is normal, the marble just goes right across the space-time, right? And just goes right straight. The photon goes straight. However, You'll notice what happens. Say we actually curve the space-time a little bit. So, if I can bend it correctly, it doesn't want to bend. But if we can curve the space-time like that, so the black hole is bending space-time. Now, keep in mind that the space-time actually looks the same uh, when you're on the space-time. But if we bend it now, you'll notice that the photon curves, right? Pretty cool, huh? So that's the process by which light will actually orbit, in that it'll start to curve around space-time, because the black hole has actually bent with space-time. So there would be a black hole right here that was bending the photon. And if the black hole and the photon were in the right spot, the photon would actually get caught in one of those bends in the space-time, what's called a stable, stable orbital bend, and start orbiting. And it would just go round and round the black hole forever until the black hole either got large enough that the photon would then not have enough momentum to escape the black hole and slowly and more rapidly go into the black hole until it met the singularity at the center of the black hole. Or the black hole started to get smaller and the photon then had enough momentum to escape its pull and it would go right along space time. So that's the process by which photons can orbit a black hole and uh, even uh, escape or go into one. And uh, thanks for watching.